real sign of his confidence. Maybe a, a slight sign of complacency as well. Never like to see the hands drop too low, even if you are in control. Yeah, no, he's, he's a class act, I can see. The way he just moves in, moves, moves his head back a fraction, puts his punches together. Look at that beautiful counter. Good shot. The WBA featherweight super champion. Oh, yeah. You can probably call him a journeyman, and I think he's going to be well and truly out of his depth here. Yeah, well and truly a journeyman, a, a typical journeyman. New Mexico, powering both hands of this young Indonesian fighter, 24 years of age. Craig Christian tells me he is a future world champion, and I agree with it. Just look at the way he's putting punches together here. We're not going far here, but with anticipation see their great champion Chris John but for all the Indonesian viewers in Bali and the mainland this guy is a future world champion I believe just 24 years of age too good physique good natural build in the featherweight division this young bloke oh look at that straight right hand and with the lead straight right too now he's involved with letter beautiful three punch combination two of them left from Stone Jordan. Back to the corner. Archuleta back to the national stage a number of times, fought in the US a couple of times. One and eight rounder on the Marquez Casamayor on the card in 2008. Uh, and had a no contest or a not no decision against two time world champion Roberto Guerra. Very class fighter. Top quality fighter. That opening round. I'll tell you what, Archuleta in his day, he's 35, he must have been a very good fighter to hold a victory over the great John, Johnny Chappie. He last fought in February of this year, that only went two rounds, and it wasn't a win. Yep. To Juan Carlos Zergos, I think. Two round knockout loss. Going low, changing level. Just a matter of time here. Did he put them together then? Luba Yeah. Oh, good right hand rock. Here's the opponent, Frankie Archuleta. Look at the jab. Beautiful jab, too. Competing in the featherweight division. Oh. Yeah. 57.15 kilos. They're not big guys. Then it's Kelsey. <laughs> he's going to see round two out. Frankie Archuleta, but he's having oh. no luck. He's going to see round two out. He may not remember a great said earlier this was 12 rounds by correction only the 10. Yeah, I did know title. It could have well been 12 for a regional title, but uh, it is 10. Oh. Uppercut hook. Three ringside judges here. Steve Marshall, Mike Fitzgerald. Left hook in the middle of all that. Yeah. Here we go with round three. Almost nonchalant. Yep, round number three coming away. Out of there. You can see the experience, but he's certainly out of his depth at the moment. Oh, brother. Archuleta popping that left hand out repeatedly. If you look at Jordan, he just makes that minimal slip, moves yep. ahead beautifully, counters off it. He's moving the boxing world. Great card, I think probably the best maybe ever assembled in this country. Vicious, solid jab. That's Shows what a left jab can do. Jordan unloading here in the in his own corner in uh, Archuleta's corner. Mine, it only has to miss by a centimetre and it is exactly. missed. And it's missed, yeah. And then you Archuleta oh, in all sorts here. Oh, big right hand from your Dan again. And that's what you call a defensive counter. Catch and hook off it. Well, the, the natural, natural reaction to avoiding a punch is getting right out of there, slipping until you can't slip any further, and getting as far away from the glove as possible. Butler is what you'd expect for a tough Mexican journeyman. Lives in Albuquerque now. But, uh, born in New Mexico and copping a battering here. Oh, too much. Oh, Gary, Gary, Gary can see this round down. Round number three. 50 a minute, minute remaining. In more trouble than Oh, he's just got him. Oh, is he ever? And without a knockdown, we're looking at a real 10-8 round here. Oh, yeah, without that. Oh, he's going to have a warning there. Oh, almost followed through with the elbow when he threw that overhand right straight down on top of the head and followed with the elbow. Time! To his credit, 
Gary Ingham having a good look here. Too tough for his own good here, Frankie Archuleta. Oh, big right hand. Yeah. Our referee's having a good long look at this. Vicious body shot. Boo. Cool, he sucks that one up. Yeah, it's a shocking little left hand there from the Indonesian. Gary Ingham could stop oh, there. look at this. Again. Oh. On his feet, I think. Oh. Jordan punches. <laughs> Commentators and part of the media, we can promote them heavily in everyone's minds and quite often it's a recipe for disaster, but you're going to hear a lot more about this young bloke, you get the feeling, without doubt. 24 years yeah, of age, the baby. Craig Christian did actually say to me that they were willing to, to give uh, Billy Dib a shot at uh, Billy Dib won the defending title in Indonesia. They pay him 100 hours for his Yeah, that, that's it, and he's, he's been composed throughout. Incredibly composed and economical, and yep, as you said, just uh, almost nonchalant and, you know, just precise with his shot. Makes him miss, makes him pay. Look at him unloading here in the neutral corner right above us. For a dual world title, IBF and uh, WBA featherweight world title Ooh, in, in Singapore or in today's no, we'll talk about that later because, of course, Chris John is uh, going to be on the show. Stop it. Yeah, it's time to go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How you going, Frank? You going all right? Yeah. No, quit in this match. Yeah. Yeah. landed and thrown during the entire Derek Lewis Francis and Ghana fight. Oh, look at that. One-two by DC. And then he clinches.